Hi, Dr. William Lee here. I wanted to share with you some information on the microbiome and cancer because research in these two areas, microbiome and cancer, show they're related and important. Now, your microbiome is one of your body's five health defense systems, and it's made up of 39 trillion bacteria, mostly living in your gut. These bacteria are generally healthy. They help your body heal when it's injured. They lower your blood cholesterol. They help your metabolism, and they send signals to your brain. But one of the most profound things your gut microbiome does is to help your immune system defend your body against cancer. 70% of your immune system is located in your intestines, right next to your gut bacteria. And the healthy gut bacteria talk to your immune cells as they conduct surveillance to seek out and destroy cancer cells. Now this happens all the time. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. Now, another study examined 200 some people with malignant melanoma, a deadly skin cancer. These patients were being treated with immunotherapy, which is a new type of therapy that uses the body's immune system and directs it against cancer cells. The research found that those patients who had better survival were the ones who had a specific gut bacteria called ruminococcus, and this was linked to how much dietary fiber they were eating. The more fiber the patients were eating, the more ruminococcus, and the better the immune response against the cancer. How much fiber? Well, the study found that for every five grams per day of dietary fiber, five grams is the amount found in a medium-sized pear, there was a 30% decrease in the risk of the cancer progressing or death. So the field of food as medicine is evolving to show us how what we eat can not only make us healthier, but it can even be a matter of life and death. And cancer researchers are now discovering just how powerful our foods can be. If you like this kind of information and want to know more, beginning this Monday, February 7th, I'll be starting my next online course, which digs deeper into the microbiome in all of the four other health defense systems. This is a great way to learn how to eat to beat disease and how to activate each of your health defense systems through food. Oh, and you'll also have access to me once a week live to answer questions and to talk about new research. I look forward to seeing you in my course and hope to see you on Monday.